$10 million. That's how much a religious convention happening right now in downtown St. Louis is expected to pump into the local economy. The Church of God in Christ is back in the city for the first time in years. And local leaders are on a mission to keep the group coming back. The Church of God in Christ is back, in St. Louis that is. And we couldn't be more thrilled to have them back in St. Louis. The organization, also known as Kojic, makes up churches from all over the world. Some 15,000 people are in town for what's called the AIM Convention. That stands for Auxiliaries in Ministry. Five major departments of our church, namely the music, youth, Sunday school, mission, and evangelism. Presiding Bishop J. Drew Sheard tells me the conference is about training members in these categories and worshiping together. Praise the Lord's sake. For years, the group brought a different convention to St. Louis every year, but that stopped a few years back. Uh, we were really disappointed to, to lose them to Memphis, but we're in the process right now of bringing the Saints back here to St. Louis, <laughs> so we're bidding on 2026 20, and beyond for the Holy Convocation. That's Kojic's largest convention, which is twice the size of the AIM convention. Although this one is big too. So this is huge. They're using a total of 10 hotels throughout the region. Room blocks are scattered throughout the downtown core and even in St. Louis County. Local leaders say it's a sign of what's to come. I mean, the convention calendar for the balance of the year is solid. We have 17 events, including the epic pink concert that's going to be taking place right next door in the Dome at America Center in August. I, I want to thank uh, the city of St. Louis for being so kind to us thus far, and uh, we look forward to uh, seeing uh, uh, this city again in uh, next year in May. He's referring to the organization's National Women's Convention, which is coming to the city next year. Explore St. Louis says 2025 is slated to be the biggest convention year the city has ever seen in two decades.